Good afternoon. Today we're talking about patterns. Patterns are things which are always in the same order and go on again and again. There are patterns all around us in the world. Look at the tiles or the stones on this pavement. There's always one like this, then like this, then like this, then like this, and it keeps going on and on and on. There's also patterns in this bit here, but this time we've got squares or rectangles that go together. Lots of animals have patterns as well. In a bee, they have a black stripe, then a yellow stripe, then a black stripe, then a yellow stripe, all the way up. Even their houses are patterns. They've got lots of hexagons next to each other. One, two, three, four, five, and then the next one is, uh, the next ones are just down here. People love patterns. We put patterns everywhere. These are lots of different floor tiles, but all of them have a pattern to them. We can even have patterns in, uh, in people. Here, let's think about the pattern. We've got a girl, then a boy, then a girl, then a boy, then a girl and a boy. Girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy. That's a pattern. Let's have a think about these patterns here. In the first one, our pattern is green square, blue circle, green square, blue circle, green square, blue circle. If we kept the pattern going, what do you think would be here? Well, yeah, there'd be another green square and then a blue circle. In this pattern, we could have two things, two ways of thinking about the pattern. Either it could be square, circle, square, circle, square, circle, or it could be green, blue, green, blue, green, blue. Either way, the pattern's the same. In the next one, we've got triangle, rectangle, triangle, rectangle, triangle, rectangle, triangle, rectangle, triangle, rectangle. What about here? Well, this one is a, a hexagon, and this one is a pentagon. So let's use their colors instead. Purple, yellow, purple, yellow, purple, yellow. Next would be purple and yellow. Sometimes we'll have more than two things in a pattern. Here we go red, green, yellow, red, green, yellow, red, green, yellow. You're right. When we're looking at patterns, it can be really helpful if we say out loud the pattern as we're reading it, okay? So if you say to yourself, red, ye uh, green, yellow, red, green, yellow, red, green, you're just going to say yellow right away, okay? You don't even have to think about it. What about here? And these ones we would have green, blue, green, blue, green, blue, green, blue, pink, pink, blue, pink, pink, blue, good, pink, pink, blue, pink, pink, blue, pink, pink, blue, pink, pink, blue, oh, all the way along. <laughs> then we've got heart, star, star, heart, star, star, or yellow, brown, yellow, brown, yellow, brown, or Pentagon Oval, Pentagon Oval, Pentagon Oval. Let's try some. This time I want you to say what comes next. So we've got triangle, rectangle, rectangle. Triangle, rectangle, rectangle. You're right. If we think about the rhythm, we go triangle, rectangle, rectangle, triangle, rectangle, rectangle. What about this one? Circle, triangle, square. Circle, what do you think comes next? Well, last time we had circle, 
triangle square. This is what we can call a, a block. So this is what we think one part of the pattern looks like. So for our next bit, let's think about what we already know. We know circle. What comes after circle? Well, that's going to be triangle. And then next would be square. Circle, triangle, square. Next we've got pentagon, pentagon, square. Pentagon, pentagon, square. Good. What about this one? Circle, uh, <laughs> not a triangle, no. <laughs> rectangle, rectangle, rectangle. Circle, well, if we think about this as our block, then the next one would be a rectangle. If we start a new block here, and then we'd have another rectangle and another rectangle. Okay? The same thing happens with numbers. We can see no uh, patterns within numbers. When we're counting, that's just another pattern. Five, six, seven, eight, what comes next? Nine, yeah. Sometimes we don't have enough information to finish the pattern just by looking at one instance, one time of that pattern. But let's look at this one. So we know it's heart, star, something. Hmm. Well, what could the something be? Hmm. Below, we've got circle, heart, star. Okay. Then below that, we've got star, circle, heart. Ha. Huh. So heart always comes before star, right? Heart, then star. Heart, then star. There's only three things in the pattern. So when we get to the edge here, we have to start the pattern again over here. Hmm. So if we know it goes heart star, heart star, heart star, heart star what? Hmm. Heart star circle. Heart star circle. So this has to be a circle yeah hmm all right well why don't you try some patterns i've got a game for you to try and then i've got some patterns for you to draw on the paper okay have a good time with that and i'll see you later bye bye